Hi, sis. Oh, hi, Ken. What are you doing here? What happened? Get a cramp? It's nothing important. It's praiseworthy that you're learning how to swim. I mean, at this age. Mm. And I guess you're learning how to play tennis? <laughs> Miss Celine Hannum? Oh, hello. How are you? I hope you're feeling better. I'm fine, thank you. Now you be careful not to tire yourself out too much, heaven forbid. We don't want to hear ambulance sirens around here again. Give my greetings to Miss Natalia. Have a good day. Good day, I'll tell her. Did they call an ambulance for you? Why haven't we heard about this? I felt a little dizzy the other day. It was nothing important. My blood pressure dropped. I didn't want to alarm you over such a little thing. Ken. I'm telling the truth. Don't give me that look. If Mom hears about this... Well, don't tell her. I won't speak to you if you tell her about this. I won't tell her. Don't you worry. Where are you going? Home? Uh, no. I'm going to go shopping. I'll see you tonight, then. Yeah, see you. I couldn't tell them. My mother and my brother, the later they learn, the better. Miss Celine, I understand why you wouldn't want to tell them, but, but you need support right now, and of course, treatment. I still feel the same way about the treatment. No one will know about this until the very last moment, when I won't be able to hide it anymore. You won't be able to hide it. Within a couple of weeks from now, your mother will be devastated when she finds out that you didn't want to receive treatment. But if I tell my mother now, they'll try to get me into the hospital. Then we'll all be sad and miserable. But if I don't tell them, it's easier to ignore it. It's not possible to ignore this illness, Miss Celine. It will remind you of itself, even if you refuse the treatment. More and more, every day. I know it will. But still, it's different. It's different from being in the hospital. Besides, if I accept the treatment, can you tell me that I'm going to be fine? No, I can't, but still, What would you, you do if you were in my shoes? What would you choose to do when you knew that nothing would change? Look, I'll prescribe you a few drugs. These will ease your pain. But look, you have to keep your spirits up. That's more important than the drugs. <laughs> You have to surround yourself with people who make you want to hold on to life. <laughs> Kareem, how are you, brother? <laughs> I've been better, you know? Uh, that was a pretty dumb question. I'm really sorry, bro. How else can you be? <laughs> Poor Mr. Ezra, huh? <clears throat> the police station was so busy, we're chasing an organized crime gang. I have been sleeping for days. I couldn't go home either. I heard it this morning. I got it from reception. My condolences to you. 